one. Let, let's 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 go. Yeah. Great. More forests. Well, it's now or never. Let's, let's go in. Woody. Yeah. What's wrong? I don't know. Maybe the fact that I left my half-blind friend to die. Look, it was what needed to be done. No, it's not what needed to be done. We could have saved him. But we didn't. We chose not to. Look, Woody, get your mitt off of me. Don't, don't you think that maybe we could have actually saved Corey? No. I mean, hey, even if we did, we would have died. We still would have died. So, let's just, let's just go into that forest. Okay. And there's your eye patch, you little crybaby. Well, guess what? Now I can't cry because I'm missing an eyeball. Come on, you'll walk it off. You'll be fine. You know, what made you like this? Because there's no way you were born like this. What made you like this? I... I don't recall. What are you talking about? You know, the number one child murderer in the state right now. How? When... How'd this happen? When this happened? Alright. Buckle up. Well, not really. It's a long story. But I'm trying to make it as short as I can. So, I was 17 at the time. And I met this annoying-ass fifth grader. Please tell me this isn't actually worth a story story. I am telling my soft story, so shut up! Okay, so I met this fifth grader. And he was, he was stupid, and he was an asshole. And I just, I told him to scoot off, and I walked away. But he grabbed me. He grabbed me by my arm, he pinned me against the wall, and he snapped my wrist in half. And it took me a month to recover. And I was so mad, and I punched that kid. I punched him in the nose. But that wasn't enough, because he broke my wrist! So I went home. My parents asked where I was for a few hours. And I got so mad, and I took out all my anger on them. But they went to sleep. Next morning, they drove off. They got into a very bad car crash. And I felt so bad because I was never able to apologize. I felt, I felt guilt. But most importantly, I felt anger at that stupid fifth grader. If it wasn't for him, I would have been able to say goodbye to my parents. It's all his fault. It's his fault that I'm an orphan, and it's his fault that I'm killing so many kids nowadays. And that's it. That's my story. <laughs> and of course you're laughing, sicko. <laughs> no, I'm not laughing because I'm a sicko. I'm laughing because that sob story is absolutely pathetic. This kid broke your wrist, and you've been whining about it for what, like the past 20 years, however old you are? That's so insanely stupid that it's actually funny. You are still crying about something that happened 20 years ago. It wasn't even that big. I've been through so much through my life. I've been through a divorce multiple times when I was like five. And I snapped my leg in half when I was eight, and I was in a wheelchair. And I was assaulted by you and had a broken nose for a month. And got my eyeball shot now. But do you see me crying like a little pussy? No, you don't. And I, I only cried once throughout all of this. But no. The grown man in this situation is still whining about some kid breaking his wrist. That is actually sad. You are a terrible person. And your motivation makes no sense whatsoever. Go to hell, you sick motherfucker. That is it. You've pushed my buttons enough. I'm gonna kill you once and for all. 
and I'm gonna make it painful and long. Come here. I've seen better than an out-of-shape 30-year-old man. Do your worst. Oh, you're gonna regret saying that. Woody, Woody, just please let me talk. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry's not gonna change the fact how selfish you are. You know what? I've been thinking about it. I believe that Corey's still alive. And that Johnny's probably just torturing him, considering how bad of a person he was. And considering exactly what he said. So, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go all the way back. No matter how far we've gone, no matter how many feet, no matter how many miles, I'm going back. Because I know Corey would do the exact same for me. So you guys, you guys can do whatever you want. You can stay, come with me. I don't care. That's not going to change my mind. I'm going to go save him. Well, I still have the chance. Wait, Woody! Don't even bother trying to convince me otherwise. I've made up my mind. Look, Woody, I'm okay with you going to save your friend. But please, for the love of God, come back safe. Only for you. Because I know at least you actually care about other people's feelings. So I'll be back. In one shape. And so will Corey. Bye. Now and ever.